Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. In the previous video, we talked about count columns. Now in this video, we'll talk about how to count rows from this collection. Now we have this master collection and as you can see here, we have 10 rows. But currently we can see that and we can say, okay, we have 10 rows. But both does not know about that, like how many rows we have in our collection. Boat will only know if we will set something, if we will set the action, then boat will get the count and then boat will have idea, okay, now we have 10 rows and then based on that count, you can work on that. Now, let's take one scenario. You are working on a project where you have to count your rows. It means first you will read your Excel data, store in a collection, you will see that if your excel data it means if your collection has data then you will add items to queue otherwise skip that part it means go to and process so same thing we can apply here let me show you click ok so we have 10 rows and i'm going to show you how to count rows so we are going to use one business object and you know that to call any action from that business object you need to use action stage so just double click on that right here count rows select here from this business object object select internal business object corrections and from this action select count rows now from this collection name in this input we need to pass that collection name in the double quotation now from this outputs we need to take one data item which can store the count of rows in one data item so that we can use that further now right here count rows click on this so that we can create the data item now click ok now we have this data item now link this reset this and run a step by step now you can see here we are getting count rows 10 it means we have 10 rows in our collection now based on this you can put a decision stage here link this double click on this decision and write collection has data right now here we'll take this count rows greater than zero it means if we have that count rows is greater than zero it means we have data in our collection so if we have data then what we do then just take one you know add items to queue part and add so i'm just taking a notes so it means just to show you so add to queue so if we have data in our collection add to queue and then go to end now if we have no then directly go to end this is the best practice like you can always check that because if you have no data in your excel file it means there is no need to run this specific part this add to queue part just send an email to your business like there is no data in the excel sheet please provide the data so here if we will run this so what will happen now we have 10 rows so here it will come to the yes part it means true it will go with the add to queue and that will end now if we have no data it means if we had zero so it will go with the false let me step by again double click on this count rows put here zero and now you see here our count rows value is zero now so it will directly go to and because now count is not greater than zero so based on these things you can try few more scenario 
and you can walk on this count rules i hope you like this video if so then please press the like button and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you guys